Hello everyone, happy Sunday. I'm in the soon to be nursery and this room is being redone from top to bottom, from the ceiling to the floor, the walls, the drywall, insulation, wiring is all being redone. We're doing new outlets, new flooring, new insulation, did I say that already? New ceiling, new light fixture. I mean, everything in this room is being redone. The only thing not being done is the window, even the doors being replaced. There's no door on this room right now because we removed the door when this was the dog's room because they like to see us 24 seven walking back and forth when they were in here. They didn't like being completely shut off and closed off from us. So we removed the door that way they always seen us and they can just come and go in their room whenever they pleased. So gonna need a new bedroom door, but the window is the only thing not being replaced because that's being replaced once we go to do the siding on the house because we're redoing all the windows on the house. But besides that, Everything else, brand new in this bedroom. We're so excited. Hopefully we have it all done by the third trimester. That is the goal. The baby isn't gonna be in this room anyway for the first six months. They're gonna be in the bassinet in our bedroom. But after those six months, we're going to slowly transition them into the nursery. But again, we're really pushing and hoping that by the end of the third trimester, this room will be completely done. Before their arrival, this room will be completely done. That's the goal. So I am officially at the very end of my second trimester and that is what this video is about from weeks 21 to 27 because I'm literally at the very end of week 27 going into my third trimester which is still so unbelievable I, I just I'm, my mind is even my husband we're still trying to process it even after all these months still trying to process that there's a baby on the way oh my goodness we're so over the moon we're nervous but excited but so many emotions i can't even begin to tell you your mind is just going 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 when this process is happening and especially after waiting as long as we have and tried for as long as we had and it's just so surreal so amazing we're so blessed i'm just i i can't even begin to explain and express how grateful we are for this opportunity this experience to add this precious addition to our home i'm just so overjoyed Anyway, so let's get into signs and symptoms from weeks 21 to 27. Honestly, not much has really happened. I've been kind of tired, but nowhere near what I had been before. My cravings have been kind of subsided, except for bread. I kind of been wanting sandwiches as well as toast a nice bit. Every single day, it seems I have to have a sandwich or a slice of toast. All my other cravings I had prior have kind of subsided. The chocolate milk craving, the lemon meringue pie craving, all that stuff. Slushies, I kind of want here and there depending on how warm it is, but it's not really an overall craving anymore. And honestly, I wouldn't even say the bread craving. If I went a day without bread and I decided to switch it out for something else, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So I wouldn't really even consider it a major craving or much of a craving. So in regards to cravings, I'm not really having much of that either. Now the baby's movement has been unreal. Oh my goodness. We are feeling this baby a lot. This baby is extremely active. The first bit of movements, I forgot to mention this in previous videos, we had started to feel movements. It was actually Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday was the first time we felt baby's movements. And ever since it has been more and more and lately, oh my goodness, it's like, I'm here, hello, what's up, kick, here we go, pound it, I'm gonna push on your belly, <laughs> it's just constant. But according to the doctor, that's a really good sign and they're happy that the baby's just steady moving, but oh yeah, baby is constantly moving. Now we haven't and we won't be, and we never did a video of my husband's reaction when he found out, because literally that video I posted of me finding out Seconds after, I literally FaceTimed him at work and was like, I gotta tell him right away. Because in that video, it was literally me doing it as a ha, see, I told you I'm not. And I didn't even think I was gonna end up posting it. I honestly thought it was negative. I only ended up taking the test because my husband was like, I'll take one. My husband kept joking about, oh, you're possibly pregnant. Nah, just because of the mood I've been in and this and that. And I was like, nah, I'll pick up a test. No, I'm not. I was like, oh, I'll film it, even though I know I'm not pregnant. But in the slight chance I am, at least like, You'll get my reaction, I guess. So yeah, that's why there isn't a video of that. All honesty, I wouldn't do a video of my husband's reaction just because I feel like that's a very personal and important moment for just me and him. And like I said, literally the moment I seen it and I seen that it was positive, I was gone. I was like, done filming. I gotta contact my husband. I gotta let him know 
this is what happened. So I literally just stopped filming, ran to contact him and just told him. I called him and I was like, okay, I'm about to call back again, but this time I'm going to FaceTime you. You got to see this. Like, oh my goodness, guess what? <laughs> It was just, it was a very special moment, but a moment I couldn't wait and I wasn't going waiting and I wasn't going setting up a camera or anything. It, like I said, to me, that was just a moment that was extremely important for me and my husband to experience together. And my apologies if anyone was waiting or is waiting for a video of his reaction or family's reaction, because I know they're all over the internet, but that's just something personal that we didn't want to do and don't want to do. We just really wanted that moment to be special between the two of us. Okay, and back to signs and symptoms again. Not really much going on. Like I said, a lot of baby movement. Back pain is slightly, but not really. Anything else has been quite good. I have to say, weeks 21 to 27, ah, I'm very grateful that it has been quite the breeze and nothing really extreme going on. I did have my last doctor's appointment at week 24 with my family doctor and all of that went really, really well. I am now switched to an OBGYN and I had that appointment last week. So at week 26, I ended up going to the OBGYN and she just ended up going over the same stuff my family doctor did, just making sure everything that he had passed along to her was accurate and just asking me and making sure and she just let me know what was going to happen from here on out and just walk me through it and walk my husband through it and then we had to go out to the hospital for blood work and to drink the orange it literally tasted like flat no name orange crush if you know what orange crush is orange pepsi orange pop it tasted like a flat version of that so it wasn't overly gross but it was the stuff to test to see if you ended up getting diabetes during this process or whatnot but anyway I ended up drinking that out there you had to wait an hour after drinking it so I was like oh my goodness we're gonna be here forever because we were sat out there for a while but it actually wasn't too bad overall we didn't wait too long I would say before we had to go in for that we were waiting roughly an hour hour and a half I think if I can recall that properly and then we had to like I said when you drink that solution you have to wait an hour and then after that that's when they have to do the blood work but they can't do it prior they have to wait till after you drink that stuff then they do the blood work that they need to do but I ended up getting that done and anyone who is pregnant you have to do that so just be ready and prepared for it if you're not somebody who likes soda or pop like myself you're not going to be too keen on drinking the stuff because it is kind of gross for me. Like I said, I don't drink that type of stuff, soda. So it was eh, kind of nasty for me, but it wasn't horrible. It wasn't chalky or anything like that or hard to drink down. And she's like, oh, you have approximately five minutes to drink the solution. And I was like, no, if I'm doing this, I'm getting it done. So I ended up having that done. And now tomorrow I have to go back to the gynecologist to get the results back for that, as well as just another checkup update. And at my last gynecologist appointment, which was last week, I also gained a nice bit of weight, but oh my goodness, everything is right on track. She said she did the measurements, everything is looking fine. So I'm just so happy and we are both remaining very positive and optimistic because everything so far is going really, really well. That had been the appointments I ended up having. It was my family doctor there at week 24. And then I moved over now and from future appointments to the gynecologist, which was last week at week 26. Then I'll have another one again tomorrow, week 27. And I guess we'll see from there on how many and how often. I think now that I'm going to soon enter into the third trimester, it's every week. I think, or every two weeks, depending on how well everything's going. I'm not sure. I also still have to get that injection because I'm a negative blood type. That has to be done soon. I also have to get my whooping cough vaccine as well as my flu shot. My husband has to get that too. And they would like to have that done, she said, before week 32. So I'm going to contact my family doctor, see if they'll do it. If not, I'm sure there's a local clinic that will do it. Also, we aren't having a baby shower I'm after been asked by a few people if I would like a baby shower and my answer had been very kindly. I greatly appreciate it, but no thank you. Uh, it's just something I don't want to do. I don't like being center of attention and I also would feel really guilty about accepting gifts, especially after COVID just cleared up not too long ago. People are just back to work getting on their feet. Financially, some people are still in a hard place after that. So for me personally, we don't need anything that we couldn't have got ourselves. 
We are very grateful we are in a place where we can buy all that stuff ourselves. So I just rather everybody come see the baby once the baby's born and have like a gathering of a family barbecue or a supper or something like that after the baby's born. I don't, like I said, baby showers, mm, not really my thing. Another thing that me and my husband decided not to do had been a gender reveal party. Again, it's something I think that I rather just tell everybody one-on-one -on -one in person and have it more sentimental. We ended up going to my husband's parents and I ended up bringing a baseball that was filled with powder that was either blue or pink and we had a baseball bat. We told my husband's father that, hey, like, come out, hit the ball out on the patio. You're gonna find out what your grandchild's gonna be. We ended up doing the baseball route because it was one of the sports my husband played as a child and one of his favorite sports. My husband's father at first thought because it was a baseball, he didn't realize it was filled with powder that, oh, it's a boy. And we told him, we said, oh no, you gotta go out and hit the ball to see it's filled with stuff inside. And he went outside, hit the ball, powder went everywhere. Oh, we got a girl. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yes. Told ya. <laughs> so God bless you. Oof, it was pink. <laughs> We're having a little girl. But we much prefer to do it like that, one-on-one. -on -one have more of a sentimental, special moment with everybody, just like when we went down to tell his grandmother and aunts and uncles, friends, everything like that. We literally went from house to house, visited everybody individually, told them all individually. For us, it just felt more intimate and special. And the idea of just a gender reveal party, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, like gender reveal party ideas. I don't know, it's just, again, it's a personal preference, something we didn't wanna do. We just prefer to go to each house and tell each person individually that we were having a girl. But yes, we're having a baby girl. We already got the name picked out, which is really exciting. We have that done. Oh my goodness, I'm overjoyed. Woohoo! <laughs> so yeah, we're having a little girl, pink. <laughs> so there's that as well. Week 21 to 27, signs and symptoms have been very minimal. I've been feeling really good, very high energy, and like, let's get stuff done, let's go, go, go. We are now switched to the gynecologist who will be with us now for the foreseeable future of this pregnancy. So we're gone from the family doctor practitioner to now the gynecologist. So that has changed from week 24 to 27 because the last appointment was at week 24 with the family doctor. I had to drink that solution to make sure I didn't have gestational diabetes. So I had to do that. I'll get the results for that, like I said, tomorrow. So I'll let you know in the next video about that. We also found out the gender of our baby. And again, like I said, it's a baby girl. So that's me. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, honestly, I'm, I'm, oh my goodness. Even my husband, my husband's extremely excited. Oh, the one thing I have noticed from signs and symptoms, besides like a bit of back pain, I have been like kind of out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> a nice bit but it hasn't been exceptionally horrible if I'm up on the move a nice bit I'll notice it or if I'm talking a nice bit I'll have to take a break just to give myself a second to just be like ah so that I've noticed it's not horrible like I said but I've I've noticed that and the fact my belly I got more of a belly bump now <laughs> compared to the last video but I'm just I don't know. I, I'm just giddy and excited and I'm just like ready. I'm so ready. We bought so much stuff. I'll do that in a future video of everything we ended up getting thus far or at least the majority because I know even when she arrives, I'm still going to be getting her stuff. I will do a haul video of everything we got for the baby's nursery, clothing, toys, things like that. Like I said, in a future video. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Again, I got another appointment tomorrow. I'll do another update hopefully soon. But if things are the way they are, there's really nothing to be updating much about because it's just been so good. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. The next video is going to be the third trimester update video. Oh my goodness, it's so surreal. But again, thank you. See you in the next one. Bye now.